I'm George James, Head of Commonwealth at Stanley Gibbons. And today's video, uh, we're going to look at something really rather special. Um, now, from the outside, it doesn't look like much at all. Um, it looks like a really rather well, a battered old album, you know, sellotape on the spine, uh, you know, slightly, slightly worn. But this is actually one of the most important volumes um, in the building here at 399. Um, this is uh, one volume uh, from India to Malaya of the Commonwealth Department Reference Collection. Um, now we have a lot of reference material here um, at the Strand and we have a lot of reference collections as well. Uh, we have a Forgeries reference, we have a Great Britain reference, we have the Murray Payne reference as well, which uh, Dick and Pollard built up over many years. Um, but this is one volume from the key A to Z uh, Commonwealth reference collection which we use here in the Rare Stamp Department. Um, now this, uh, the reason it's so special is because it's been passed down generations of experts here at Stanley Evans. So often when we get uh, people coming back in to do some maybe some consultancy work or some describing work here in auctions, um, if they are an authority on a certain area, when you work here you're encouraged, or if you find out a specific way to identify a stamp, uh, you're encouraged to um, write notes in the collection on the best way to identify it or uh, the, the key characteristics of a certain printing. So it's dotted throughout with, I'll just go you know, to the camera here, with handwriting of previous people here. And when we have people come back in, they're often able to recognize their own handwriting from as far back as the 1970s, and possibly even earlier. I'm not, I'm not actually sure exactly when this collection was started. Um, so uh, as many of you know, um, most of the stamp trade worked at Stanley Evans at some point, so this is the collective works of a huge body of knowledge who've worked here over such a long period of time. Now, the next question we get asked a lot about this collection when people see it for the first time is why are you storing King George's Sip stamps, QE2 stamps uh, with hinges? Uh, and it's actually uh, quite an easy answer. Um, in the, for this collection, uh, condition is completely unimportant. Um, it's designed to be um, a good example of exactly what it represents. So the things that have ended up here in the past are very characteristic examples of things where uh, maybe they have a crease or a pulled perf or a scruffy postmark, but it doesn't matter because they are very characteristic and very clearly that printing. The other benefit of having the hinges rather than a, say, a stock book or some stamp mounts is when you're examining the, uh, when you're examining the stamp, you can't put it back in the wrong place. You're able just to flip it over, uh, flip it over with ease, look at the gum, look at, the, look at what it should look like, and then you can flip it back down, examine it without ever moving it. Uh, naturally, uh, if you took two out at once, things would eventually get put back in the wrong place. So the hinges give us that uh, security and stop things uh, being, being swapped around over the, over the years. Um, now, the question, we all get asked a lot is uh, to do with shades in the catalogue um, and this uh, and what we list is a common one as well. Uh, now this this collection contains a characteristic example of each listed shade in the catalogue. Um, now if we take this Malaya set you have SG 74 and 76 and their respective shades. So I'm just going to hold that up to the camera. Now in the listing these are brown, brown, orange, and orange, the frames for 74, and for 76, uh, they're pale green and green, and grey, green, and emerald. Now, to a novice, they sound very, very similar, um, and indeed, it's very difficult when uh, you have two stamps which are essentially green and green to, um, to differentiate them just through words alone. But as you saw from that image, when they're actually mounted next to each other, they're very, very different indeed. The other key thing about this collection is that it's very easy to change the colour of a stamp through, uh, if you leave a stamp on a windowsill for a month it will become a lighter shade, uh, you can darken it with chemical means if you're unscrupulous, uh, and, and storage conditions can change the colour on stamps. Uh, Stanley Games never list those, um, and they list where possible and where identifiable stamps which are um, specific printings, so the shades relate to a printing. Uh, and also, uh, they need to be distinctly different from each other. And I hope you can see from that from that image that in this in this case of Malaya they are. Um, now, the other uh, thing for collectors is it's important to build up your own reference uh, because if you've got something that's essentially orange and brown orange, um, 
by the words alone, it can be quite difficult. Um, as there's sort of grey areas, as I said, through storage conditions. So if you get good examples, it's, uh, it's very useful to, to keep things aside and build up your own little reference collection like this, and you'll quickly start to be able to recognise things that are distinctly different. Um, now, the other, uh, the other one we get asked a lot is papers. Um, and as you can see with this one, uh, we mount the papers again. Um, I'm just going to hold it up to the camera. You should be able to see all the papers for this Leeward Island set. Now, again, they can be very confusing sounding when they're in the listing, but as you see, when they're all lined up together, they are each distinctly different printings. Uh, so you get with this Leeward Island set, if we take SG54, 54A and B, um, you get green, white and olive backs. Now, again, they can be very confusing, uh, especially if the gum is slightly toned, but once they're all lined up together, uh, you can see. So it's very important that uh, you buy from a reliable uh, and guaranteed um, guaranteed dealer when you build up your reference collection so that you don't start off on the wrong foot. And uh, this, as I say, uh, this is what allows us to offer our unconditional guarantee on every single stamp bought from the rare stamp department. Um, we have this huge and hugely valuable pool of knowledge which is built up over many, many generations, um, all the way from A to Z in most countries. Um, so when you're buying from Stanley Gibbons, uh, we know and you know exactly what you're going to get from us.